Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. I wanted to do this story time because I was literally thinking about this yesterday and it like pissed me off because I forgot all about this. So this happened, um, my ninth, nope, not my 19th birthday. It happened my 20th birthday. Let me think. Last year I turned 21. Yes, this happened my 20th birthday, y'all. So, I wanted to get my hair done a certain type of way. At the time, I had shaved sides. And so, basically, I just had a mohawk on my head. If I have pictures of what my head looked like when I first got it shaved, I'll put it on here somewhere. So, it's like I got my sides shaved. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something different. Like, this year, we cutting our hair off. Because literally, you guys, when... I turned like 16 that was the first time that I ever did any type of cutting on my hair like I went before I moved down to Kansas 2011 December I went and got my side shaved off and I had like a Keisha K or uh, mohawk situation going on and I probably have pictures of that on my YouTube somewhere but anyway um so I've been doing this like every year like cutting my hair off but this particular year I was like nah I'm just keep it real simple, get like a sew in. But then I was like, you know what? We about to go shave our sides off. So I went and got my sides shaved, y'all. And I was like, gosh, I want to do a sew in for my birthday. As you guys know, I'm a hairstylist, so I'm capable of doing my own sew in. But I was like, you know what? So much stuff was going on this year. And I was like, I just want to be pampered. So I like went and got my nails and my feet done. Like I went and got my hair cut. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to have somebody else do my sewing. So literally, I was looking through Craigslist. I was looking through Instagram. I was looking through Facebook to try to find somebody to do my sewing. And you know, as a hairstylist, you're a lot more picky than like the average person. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I just really need to find somebody to do my sewing. So literally the day before my birthday, I found somebody and um, my, my birthday, my birthday is February 21st. So found this lady she was like in her late probably like 30s early 40s and she seemed cool you know what I mean she had like a nice little setup in her house it was kind of like a salon she had like the dryer chair she had the spinning salon chair she had like Marcel irons and everything and I'm like okay this lady is legit so I'm like super duper excited I went and got some quick hair from the hair store because I was gonna order some bundles but they were talking about it was Chinese New Year's. And so the weave wasn't going to be here until after my birthday. And so I was pissed off. I'm like, no, I'm about to go get some hair from the hair store. So I went to the hair store and I got um, two packs of, I think, Model Model Nude. I've done a video on this hair before from the beauty supply. And so I went and got that hair. I got it in an 18 inch and a 20 inch, I believe or 18 to 16 it was probably 18 to 20 so I went and got that hair and then I was like you know what we about to have inches we about to be inched out you know what I mean I'm like I was thinking something like Cassie's hair when she cut her sides off and had like the little um mohawk situation going on but it was like in a ponytail or whatever and that Wiz Khalifa video if I have a picture I'll put that picture up so I go to her I'm like, you know, can you do it like where it's long? I don't want any layers in it. I just want it to be like long and like flowy. And so she was like, yeah, cool. So there was like this living room area and then there was like her salon area. And so when I came in, I went with my sister and my uncle. And so she was like, you can't bring anybody in here. And I'm like, okay, that's understandable because I'm a hairstylist. If I don't want anybody in my house, you're not coming. So I was like, okay, cool. So they sat in the car. Literally, it took her like three hours to do my hair, y'all. And they sat in the car the whole time. So I'm like, it shouldn't take that long because literally I only had a mohawk section. And I'm like, I can do this in like an hour. I show her my hair. She's like, ooh, this is some good hair. You know, her and her sister come in there. She excited. Like, she rubbing her fingers through my hair, y'all. I'm like... I don't even know this lady and she like picking my hair up she like ooh, it's some good hair I'm like literally this from the beauty supply store but okay the lady starts braiding my hair down and she starts asking me how could she do the sewing like how, how did I want it basically but she was literally asking me how to do it at the same time 
And I'm like, if you're a hairstylist, why are you asking the client how to do their sewing? And so I was giving her pointers. I'm like, if you braid it in a beehive, it'll be a lot easier because literally, you guys, I have a mohawk section. So if you braid it in a beehive, it will be a lot easier for you to sew. So she does that. And then um, she like threads my braids down or whatever. She cuts something. And I'm like, what is this lady doing? She was like, oh, I'm cutting the end of the braid in here. This is going to come up later, y'all. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So she starts to sew the hair in. And she, this is where she's asking me again, how should she sew the hair in? And I'm like, it's a mohawk. Literally go back and forth until you get to the top. And then that's when you need to be really critical of how you lay the track. And so she goes back and forth sewing until she gets about right here. And I told her it might be easier if you just curve the track and go back and forth this way for the front because literally I'm going to wear my hair to this side. I always wear my hair to this side. It would be a lot easier. You can just flat iron my hair on top of it and boom, we done. And so she's like, well, I'm going to try something else. So literally, y'all, she sews how I told her to sew, but then she started doing something weird and she was doubling the track because, like I told her, I wanted all two packs in my hair. It's not hard to put two packs of hair in somebody's head, even if they have shaved sides. So... Like, she only had one pack in, and she got up here, and I was like, how the fuck is she about to fit this other pack in my head? And so, she's like, don't worry about it, I got it. So, she doubles the tracks, and she starts folding them back or whatever, and literally, there were, like, humps right here. So, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, why is there humps right there? And so... She's like, oh, don't worry about it. It'll be nice and smooth at the end. I'm like, okay. So she left me some leave out, y'all. She left me some leave out in the front and then a little bit on the sides because I told her I wanted to be able to pull it up in a ponytail if I wanted to. And so that's what she did. And my hair was a little lengthy for it to be cut in a mohawk. You know, it wasn't like super short. So it was long enough to cover the tracks. And so um, she's done sewing and there's like this hump situation going on in the front and I'm like okay she said it's gonna be smooth let me just trust her and so um my sides of course were short but it had grown out a little bit because literally I went and got my hair cut I think the week before my birthday because like yeah I'm like you know we about to do this right here and right now I'm going to get my hair cut today so it grew out a little bit so she like I think she's put mousse on my sides and use wrap strips to lay it down and then she used her marcells to flat iron my hair she was using spritz to like stick my hair to the tracks for it to blend good but literally y'all y'all saw how my hair looks in other videos like my hair is thin so you don't have to do much to blend my hair with some weed so she's applying spritz and I'm like I never ever ever use spritz in my hair I really hope she don't use a lot because there's honestly in my opinion there's no point in using spritz spritz is like a preference type of product people who use spritz is their preference like this is not a product that you just go around using every day so I'm like okay as long as she don't apply a lot we cool because I don't like styles where my hair is like stuck to my head like I want some movement sweetie I want to be able to move and my hair flows with me okay I don't want that stuff to be stuck to my head and then later on I can't get the shit out so she freaking slicks my hair down with the Marcel irons it's like smoking and shit and I'm like okay it's Marcel's so you know, I'm on Snapchat. I'm kind of happy. I'm like, y'all, I'm getting my soul laid down by somebody else. But I also made a snap and was like, I hope this bitch don't fuck me up. Yes, <laughs> I did that. And so, um, you know, my sister in the car, she watching the snap. She like, you crazy girl, blah, blah, blah. And so we just going back and forth. I'm like, I really hope this lady hurry up because it's taking her too long. Like, literally, I was there for about three hours just for her to sew the middle of my hair. So, speed forward. She's done, you know. The next day, I decided to do, like, some pin curls type of um, 20s, 1920s situation. And I have pictures of that. And I also have a birthday vlog of that hairstyle. So, I decided to do something, like, old-fashioned. Because, literally, you guys, I had this hump. Like, my hair was literally pu pushed up, like, raised up in a hump. And there was nothing I could do about it. 
So I'm like, I literally told this lady that I wanted to be nice and flat and smooth to this side. And she literally made me a waterfall going over. And I'm like, okay. So that's literally all I could think of doing to my hair, which it came out cute. But I was pissed off because I'm like, I wanted it to be nice and smooth. And she's like, no, don't worry about it. I've been doing this for umpteen years. I'm like, okay. Before, like I was saying, to like maybe a month later. And I get ready to take my sewing down because literally, y'all, I started noticing stuff when my sewing, like, the track started showing. Because remember in the back, she sewed it back and forth. She didn't leave any hair out in the back. So the track started showing as my hair was growing out. And I'm like, okay, literally, I should be able to get two to three months out of a sewing. My clients don't have to take their hair down within three months. So I'm like, it should have lasted longer. So I'm like, okay, if I take this down. I had my sister cut the stuff out, cut the tracks out for me. And she's like, um, your hair falling out. I'm like, what you mean my hair falling out? You cut one of my braids? She's like, no, your hair just falling out. So she gets closer to the top, you know, she's cutting the tracks out. And she's like, bro, your hair is falling out. And I'm like, what do you mean my hair is falling out? It's like, I'm getting nervous. I'm like, the fuck? So she takes the pieces and hands them to me. I'm like what the fuck so it's no way first of all when you take a sewing down you're gonna have hair uh loss because it's old hair shedding but the simple fact is you should not have chunks of hair coming out like literally chunks of hair coming out and so i was getting pissed off i'm like what the fuck yo so she finishes and as she's taking my braids down strands i'm talking patches of my hair is coming out and I'm like at this point I'm crying I'm like what the fuck how like did you cut my hair bro you cut my hair you cut my hair she like you see me cutting this out like it's no way that I could have cut your hair and I'm like bro you cut my hair like I don't care you cut my hair on the other pieces I was falling out look like somebody just snipped it off remember earlier that I told y'all she used the scissors and clipped the end of my braid and was like oh she was just clipping the weave off Why did she clip my hair, y'all? She clipped my fucking hair off. And I told y'all my hair was lengthy for the damn sewing. So it was very capable of being braided on its own. Very capable of covering that weave without spritz or whatever the fuck she was doing. Very capable of still being on my damn head when I take the sewing off. I take a picture of the damn hair in my hand. And it's a whole bunch of hair, y'all. I wrote her and was like, hey, um... I just took my sewing down and I'm noticing that I have a lot of shedding and breakage from the sewing. And she's like, I'm sorry about that. You know, um, could you have possibly cut the, you cut your hair while you was taking it down? I was like, no, I had someone else do it. And they informed me that they did not cut any of my hair off. And I really think that when you snip the end of my braid, you actually snip my hair off instead of the weave. And she was like, no, that's not possible. And I was like, what do you mean it's not possible? She was like, it's not possible because I clipped just the um, braid in here. And I'm like, okay. So we're literally arguing back and forth, you guys, because she's trying to pin it on me saying that I didn't know what I was doing. But bitch, we're both hairstylists. Like, or one of us is. And I literally, when you take a sewing down, it's not hard to not cut somebody's hair. Like, pay attention to what you're doing. And so, I know that it was her that cut my hair out because literally I was nervous when she snipped that piece. And I was like, what did you just snip? And she's like, I just snipped the weave. There's no reason for you to be snipping any weave after you braid somebody's hair, okay? Unless you made the piece way too long. And at that point, you're supposed to snip it way past the person's hair. And so... It like really pissed me off. So I ended up sending her the picture of my hair and she was like, wow, that is a lot of hair. She was like, yeah, you must have snipped it when you cut it out. This bitch really pissed me off, y'all. And I was like, you know, at that point I was so fucking mad. I'm like, I would never, ever recommend you to anybody. I would never, ever tell anybody that you did my hair. Girl, done. You're done to me. You're done so Like, you, you're done, okay? So, like, y'all, that was literally the worst fucking sewing. I'd never let anybody else do my sewing after that. The only person that's touched my head is my sister. And, y'all, my hair is literally growing. And so, 
clearly it's nothing that she did because I wouldn't have any hair if it was something that my sister did. Like, she really pissed me off, y'all. She tried to blame it on me. I think that I would be smarter than that. So, it, this, I was thinking about this yesterday, y'all. Like, I was so pissed off. Like, she really came for me. She really came for me. And, like, you cannot come for me, period. Just don't come for me. So, <laughs> that was my freaking hairstylist, sewing, horror story. I don't know what the heck I'm going to call this story time. But, y'all, that was a sew-in from hell, literally. And, like I said, I will never let anybody else lay a finger on my hair. Never again. Um, Just watch out for these hairstylists, y'all. Even if they ain't been to beauty school, if they have been to beauty school, like, watch out for them, okay? Just watch out for them. Everybody said they know how to do hair. Nobody would put in the work. So, I mean, never again. Thank you guys for tuning in to this crazy-ass story time. I'll see you guys in another video.